Hi everyone! To be honest, I was very skeptical about possibility of doing any astronomy or astrophotography this month, but around a week ago the forecast started improving a lot and for this specific date it was saying that it's gonna be really clean the whole night and uh, I decided that this moment, this occasion really deserves something special and uh, today I'm going to the place I've never been before. I hope it's gonna have much darker sky than I used to because it's further from the city and also the elevation is higher, it's around 1200 meters. So let's go and check it out! I decided to make a quick stop to fill up the tank because it will probably get so cold at night that I better have it full because I will probably spend a lot of time just uh, with the engine on trying to get warm. So I finally got here, the place is called Serra do Barroso and um, the altitude here is supposed to be around uh, 1200 as I said before and uh, light pollution map also gives this place uh, Bortel 4 class sky which is much supposed to be at least much darker than the sky that I'm used to in the Monte do Viso place I'm usually going because there it's pretty light polluted, it says it's Portal 6 or even 7 so I really expect to have a dark sky and uh, less gradients, more quality signal in my images but the problem is that now I see a lot of high clouds which just appeared out of nowhere and I really hope they will disappear soon because I spent like an hour and a half to get here even though it's not that much um, at least in Moscow I used to go like two and something hours just to get to the darker sky and it wasn't even Portal 6 I guess. So let's see how it goes, I will wait a bit just to see how cloud situation goes and uh, we'll start unpacking and assembling all of my gear. Also the moon is still high as you can see and uh, it will set uh, at around uh, 10 p.m so I will have a plenty of time before that. But I didn't mention one thing is that currently in Portugal we have those restrictions that uh, you are not allowed to be outside or moving uh, between districts between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. So if I don't leave this place at like at 9 for some reason, if I don't like the sky or something, then uh, I will probably have to stay here in order to not be caught by police and pay fine. So yeah, this particular astro party of one person is pretty extreme in many senses, which makes it even more exciting. So I've been waiting for around four hours for the moon to set and I was constantly looking at the sky, at the clouds and uh, there are still a lot of uh, high clouds I guess but I will try anyway to shoot because you know I spent so much time getting here I tried so hard and I got so far so in the end I hope it will all matter and by the way I completely forgot to mention what I'm gonna shoot today it's Orion Nebula or M42 and I have to confess, although I've been doing astrophotography for quite a while, I've never shot this target. I've shot nothing from actually from uh, Orion constellation. I'm just looking at it right now, it's beautiful. 
and uh, today I'm sort of losing my M42 virginity so let me put together my setup first this is my sort of astrophotography unit so I keep it pre-assembled already uh, at home so I just put it on the mount and it's good to go. Today I've decided to go with what I call lazy polar alignment using only SIR Pro so I'm not even gonna look into polar scope. I will just try to completely focus and uh, polar align just using my uh, Canon DSLR and as you can see I also attached this old uh, cutting board from IKEA to my EQ6 uh, legs tripod and uh, in order to have my smartphone right in front of the mount for easier polar alignment here I have my back end of mask I will use it later what I'm gonna try is actually zoom out to 70 millimeters focal length try to take one exposure just to see what's getting into the frame now I should see polar star even better in the center yeah more or less so let's switch back to 200 millimeters by the way my hands are actually almost frozen already it's so freaking cold outside so now I see polar star here in the field of view yeah so let's put a button of mask in front of it in front of the lens I mean okay it's almost focused as you can see the pattern is pretty much centered and lo is looking nice so let's get to the polar alignment procedure when it's so cold outside it's really becoming a challenge sometimes the way the yellow circle is moving seems completely random but eventually it somehow gets the error of 28 arc seconds so I'm satisfied with this and I'm gonna try to point to Orion Nebula and to actually see what's gonna be on the screen actually pointing Skyguider Pro can be sometimes tricky when the focal length gets bigger uh, like even at 200 millimeters it's already can be a challenge especially if it's that cold outside and uh, my advice is to first try to align declination bracket as accurate as possible because array axis can be controlled uh, and adjusted with the buttons of a like a fast forward rewind so now as you can see M42 is right in the middle of the frame so I'm running calibration process and after that I will try some longer exposure to verify that everything works the guiding has started we can see the graph so now let's go and get some longer exposure I would set it for a three minutes just want to see how it looks if there's if there are any signs of a star trailing or guiding issues finally got my three minutes exposure looks really nice already doesn't it and uh, yeah you can clearly see that if I reset the histogram there will be this area of overexposure that's why I'm gonna as many people do use two different kinds of exposures for this target and then I combine them into the HDR picture so now I'm gonna run this auto run program and try to kill some time during two or three hours uh, after that I want to take full set of calibration frames at least a good set of darks maybe uh, I will also manage to get some flats and uh, yeah I hope clouds will and the weather will give me an opportunity to finally have my first M42 image it's 4 a.m. right now I finished shooting Orion Nebula M42 like around uh, one hour ago 
and I thought okay I would start doing calibration frames but then I noticed all the clouds have disappeared and um, I've decided to switch to Rosette Nebula because you know once you get to a really good dark sky it's just really hard to stop shooting different things and try to collect as many photons as possible. <laughs> 